What's up sports fans and welcome to the Sports Shack. Usually hosted by Jay Kerr and myself Buddy Burns. But Jay Kerr is out for about a week or two due to back problems. Uh, poor guy. Uh, we, wish, uh, we wish you all the best Jay Kerr. Uh, heal properly so then uh, we can crack the whip over here. Now uh, saying that, we're, uh, we're talking about the NHL uh, Western Conference now. So, moving on to that is uh, the number one seed against the number eight seed, which is the number one seed, the Vancouver Canucks, against the number eight seed, which is the Chicago Blackhawks, last year's champions. And I'm going to state, last year's champions, they barely made it into this, the, these playoffs. If it wasn't for Dallas blowing that game, on, Saturday, on Sunday against Minnesota, Chicago wouldn't even be in the playoffs. It would be Dallas. So they made it by the skin of their teeth. And I don't think that they're going to be able to compete against Vancouver. Vancouver's ready. And they didn't forget what happened last year. They're relishing the fact. They, were, they, they want to face Chicago. They wanted it. They didn't want to face Dallas. They wanted to face Chicago. That's telling you something. The Sandine Twins, uh, Burroughs, uh, Kessler. I love that guy. I wish he had a Canadian passport. I wish he had a Canadian passport. Uh, Roberto Luongo, this is his year. He's already won gold medals. It's time to win the Stanley Cup. To, for him to be up in the elite uh, names in uh, goaltending, this is his time to shine. So... In that series, I'm taking the Canucks, which is number one seed. But a lot of people are going with, uh, with the Blackhawks because they are the champs. But I'm going with the Canucks. Okay, uh, moving on to the, the second seed against the seventh seed. Uh, second seed being uh, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, seventh seed uh, being the LA Kings. Now in this series, a lot of people are, are leaning towards the Sharks. Sure. Second seed in the in the West, why not? Thornton, uh, Heatley, uh, Povalski, Marlowe, uh, Couture, uh, Dan O'Boyle, you name it, the list goes on and on. But what has happened throughout in, in the past? And I hate bringing up the past, but with this team, it's a perfect example. What happened? They always choke in the playoffs, always. Joe Thornton, I don't know what happens to that guy. I love that guy in the regular season. Great guy to have in your pool in the regular season. Come playoffs, that guy does nothing. Nothing. And that's what he's going to do this year. Because pretty much they have the same team they had last year, except one year older. So I'm liking the Kings. I'm liking uh, Brown. They got Williams back. He's going to be uh, a big factor in this, uh, in this uh, series. Uh, Penner. He's, uh, he's a big dude. He's going to be throwing his body around. Uh, on defense, uh, Downey and uh, Jack Johnson. Two key guys. But the key to this uh, to L.A. winning this series is their goaltender. Quick. And that's what he is. Quick. And he, he's going to have to be that against uh, guys like Heatley. But he's going to stone them. And I'm saying it now because... Pretty much, I know if you watch the, the, East, uh, the Eastern uh, Conference uh, video, I, it looks like I'm going with these, all these underdogs. Not just to cause controversy. That's just exactly what I think is going to happen. So, okay, moving on to the, to the next series, which is the third seed against the sixth seed. Uh, the third seed being uh, Detroit Red Wings against uh, the Phoenix Coyotes, which is the sixth seed. In this one, I'm... Uh, I know everybody's leaning towards uh, the Red Wings, and uh, so am I. Even though they, they don't have Zetterberg to start off uh, the series, they still have guys like Datsuk, uh, Franzen, Holmstrom, and guys on defense, Lindstrom. That guy, uh, he's a machine. He's a machine. Rafalski, where are you going? Where are you going? If Howard goes in net, you could throw, they'll, they'll still win. You throw... Uh, Osgood and that, they're still going to win. They, they don't have spectacular goaltending because they have great defense and great forwards who know how to play defensive hockey. So in this series, as much as I like their uh, Phoenix's captain, Shane Dome, I like that guy, I like that team, 
but they're not uh, their run is over they tried hard to get in here but their run is over so I'm taking the Detroit Red Wings on that in that series now the the last series uh, a number four seed against a number five seed the Anaheim Ducks number four and the Nashville Predators number five in this series I'm not gonna lie to you I like the Ducks just for the fact of Corey Perry and uh, Ryan Getzlaff since they were juniors I like these guys and when they came up to the NHL I still like them I always had a soft spot for the Ducks and now these guys are grown men and they're ripping it up they're ripping it up Corey Perry 50 goals this year they got kid uh, they got the kid Bobby Ryan he's uh he's gonna do something in this series you got old guys like uh, Solani rejuvenated and the key to them winning in this series is Jonas Hiller Hiller he's been playing good and I see him uh, winning them this series that's what I see uh, what happening Corey and uh, Getzlaff scoring it's gonna be low scoring games but I see Hiller I see like a lot of uh, two nothing three nothing uh, games and Hiller getting uh, a few shutouts that's what I'm seeing Nashville who do they like I feel bad I like Fisher they got a bunch of uh, 20 something goal scorers they've made it they're 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 five seed they made it uh, they made their run but it's gonna be a quick uh, exit for them in this playoffs so for a little recap I got uh, the Canucks to beat uh, the Blackhawks I got LA to upset uh, the Sharks I got uh, the Red Wings to beat the Coyotes and I got uh, the Ducks to beat the Predators okay now I'm gonna tell you who I think is gonna be the Eastern Conference champion now I'm taking the Philadelphia Flyers and in the West I'm taking the Vancouver Canucks that's who I think is gonna be in the Stanley Cup Finals those two teams and now I'm gonna tell you who's my team if you didn't guess by now <laughs> I'm gonna tell you it's right here the Canucks I've been saying it from the beginning of the year from the beginning of the year it sucks that on the on the on the betting aspect of it they're they're high because well they're paying shit because they're the president's uh, uh, champions they won the league so shame on me for not betting earlier at uh, plus 600 now it's uh, what plus 100 or something or 150 or something stupid like that it's not it's not really worth it so I just bet single games but I have them to win the cup all right folks Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, we say it, we play it.